trick to learn name reactions in organic chemistry. I will teach you my personal trick to learn 20 name reactions in organic chemistry in a very short time. Firstly, let me teach you 5 reactions using my personal trick. I write word food a WF. I add W plus F which is WF. Now listen carefully. This W stands for Wurtz reaction. This F stands for Fatigue reaction. And this WF stands for Wurtz Fatigue reaction. Now think about a very unique girl in your school or college. Let her name is Roxana Boxana. She loves to eat dried eggs. Remember that I capitalize every second letter of Roxana Boxana. Now in case of Wurtz reaction, I take R and X. It is alkyl halide. Note it down that here X is halogen like chlorine, bromine, etc. Secondly, I take Na which is sodium. Thirdly, I take this Rx and I write it again after sodium. Note it down that if we know the reactants, we can easily guess the products. So here, sodium will react with these two X are halogens and we will get two sodium halide. This R and this R will combine together to form alkane. This dried X stands for dry ether. Thus this is the Wurtz reaction. Now in case of fatigue reaction, I consider boxana. This B and boxana stands for benzene ring and this X or halogen is attached to it. Plus this Na stands for sodium plus I take this benzene and X, I rewrite it here. Now sodium will react with these two halogen to form two sodium halide. Plus this benzene and this benzene ring join together to form diphenyl. This dried X stands for dry ether. Thus this is the fatigue reaction. Thirdly, in case of Wurtz fatigue reaction, I write sodium. I take the first reactant from Wurtz reaction and first reactants from fatigue reaction. We know that sodium will react with these two halogen. I get two sodium halide, this benzene ring and this alkyl join together to form alkyl benzene. This dried egg stands for dry ether. Thus this is the Wurtz fatigue reaction. Thus using this trick, we can easily learn these three reaction. Fourthly, this F also stands for Finkelstein reaction. Now let consider the sister of Roxana Buxana. Let the name of her sister is Roxana India. She loves to eat dry apple. Remember that I again capitalize every second letter in the Roxana India. Now as usual, I take R and X. Then I take sodium. This I in India stands for iodine I. We know that metal like sodium loves to react with this halogen. So we get sodium halide plus alkyl iodide. This dry apples mean dry acetone. So this is the complete reaction of Finkelstein reaction. Fifthly, consider Swartz reaction. Remember that in the Swart, I select SAR. Now this SAR reminds me Switzerland flag. This R and Switzerland remind me Rx. Now the AG and the flag reminds me AG R silver. F and the flag reminds me F fluorine. We know that metal like silver react with halogen X to form silver halide. While this fluorine and alkyl combine together to form alkyl fluoride. So this is the Swartz reaction. Thus noted down these five reaction which are somehow connected. Now let me teach you two more reactions like Sandmeyer reactions and Gatterman reaction. Now in Sandmeyer, there is word Meyer. We know that Meyer controls a specific area like a town, bazaar, etc. Let here the Meyer is Mr. Najam. So I say Najam closed custom bazaar. Let me repeat it. Najam closed custom bazaar. This close reminds me close structure of benzene. This N energy stands for nitrogen gas N2. Remember that I need to put halogen after every element. 
This Cl and close stands for chlorine. Now this Cu and custom stands for copper. I again need to put one halogen like chlorine. This Br and bazaar stands for bromine. We know that Br does not exist independently. I put hydrogen with it. So these are the reactants of this reaction. Now we can easily guess its products. I cut hydrogen and bromine. I cut nitrogen and chlorine. This nitrogen gas will evolve as nitrogen gas. This chlorine and H combine to form HCl. This benzene ring and bromine react together to form alkyl halide. So this is the Sandmeier reaction. What about Gettermann reaction? Well, I rewrite the Sandmeier reaction. Now listen carefully. I cut only copper chloride and replace it with copper powder. Let me repeat it. I cut only copper chloride and replace it with copper powder. I get Gutterman reaction. So this is the Gutterman reaction. Let's note it down these two reactions. Now I will teach you two more reactions. I write K. Rahul team. Remember the famous cricketer K. L. Rahul. Here this K stands for Colby's reaction and this R and T stands for Rimmer Tiemann's reaction. Now listen carefully. This O and Colby stands for OH and carbon dioxide. This B stands for benzene and base plus salt. Thus I take this OH and I attach it to benzene ring. I get phenol. Secondly, I write carbon dioxide. The base is sodium hydroxide and the acid is HCl. These are the reactions of this reaction and we can easily guess its products. I take this phenyl and I write it here. Now I select this carbon dioxide and H of base. Lastly, I attach COOH to this benzene ring. I get salicyclic acid. So this is the Colby's reaction. In case of Riemer Tiemann's reaction, I rewrite the above reaction. Now listen carefully. I cut this O2 and this oxygen of COOH. I replace only the O2 by Cl3. Let me repeat it. I cut this O2 and this O of COOH. I replace only this O2 by Cl3. We get a new substance and we call it salicyl aldehyde. Thus this is the Riemer Tiemann's reaction. Now let me teach you Williamson synthesis. This ON in Williamson reminds me Ronaldo Reyes. This RONA is sodium alk oxide. This R in Reyes stands for RX alkyl halide. These are the reactants of this reaction. Now sodium being positive will attack on halogen. We get sodium halide. This RO and this R combine together to form ether. So this is the Williamson synthesis reaction. Now let me teach you Stefan reduction reaction. Well, I select R, C and N in reduction. Now this R, C and N stands for alkyl cyanide. Now these are the three letters as 1, 2, 3. I write here three dashes. Now I select S and N in Stefan. It stands for essential to Artin chloride. This dash is for acid like HCl and this dash is for water. These are the reactants of this reaction. I replace this nitrogen by HO of water. I write RC and HO. This is aldehyde. So this is the Stefan reduction reaction. Now let me teach you etard reaction. Well, this T and etard reaction reminds me toline. So I write toline which is CH3 plus benzene ring. Secondly, this E reminds me Elon Musk. We know that he is crazy and clever. This CR and crazy stands for chromium oxide and this CL and clever stands for chlorine. These are the reactants of this reaction. Now I replace this 3 by oxygen. I write CH plus benzene ring and I attach oxygen to it. I get 
benzaldehyde. So this is the Itard reaction. Now let me teach you Hoffman bromide reaction. Well, I select Na and OH and Hoffman. I write it as sodium hydroxide. Plus I select Brom and Brom amide. I write bromine. Thirdly, I select amide and Brom amide. We know that amide is R-CO-NH2. So these are the reactants of this reaction. Now I break sodium and hydroxide. I break R, C, O and NH2. Sodium will attack on Br and C, O. I get sodium bromide plus sodium carbonate. This R, NH2 will combine together to form amine. So this is the Hoffman bromamide reaction. That's noted down. Now let me teach you two more reactions like Friedel Crafts alkylation and Friedel Crafts acylation. Well, I always count the words of Crafts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These six letters remind me the six carbon of benzene ring. So I write here benzene ring. Secondly, this A and L in alkylation reminds me AlCl3, aluminium chloride. So I write here aluminium chloride. Thirdly, alkylation means alkyl halide, like CH3Cl. So I write here CH3Cl. These are the reactants of this reaction. Thus I can easily guess its product. Now I cut Cl and I attach the CH3 to benzene ring. I get toline. This is the Friedel Crafts alkylation. In case of Friedel Crafts acylation, I take benzene and HCl3 and I write them here. Now the word acylation means acyl halide like CH3COCl. I write here CH3COCl. We know that here we cut Cl. Similarly, I also cut here Cl. I take benzene and I write it here. Lastly, I go from back to right CH3CO. I mean, I write CO and then CH3. I get acetophenon. This is the Friedel Crafts acylation. So note it down these two reactions. Now let me teach you carbyl amine reaction. Well, in carbyl amine, I select C and B. This C stands for chloroform. Its formula is CHCl. This B stands for base like sodium hydroxide. Secondly, I select amine. The formula of amine is RNH2. So these are the reactants of this reaction. Now this will displace this H2. I get RNC. We call this compound as isocyanide. Also, this K will attack on chlorine to form potassium chloride. Remember that this reaction is only possible in case of primary amine or 1 degree amine like CH3CH2NH2. It is not possible in secondary and tertiary amine. Let me teach you HVZ reaction. Well, this H and HVZ always reminds me alpha hydrogen is displaced. Now what is alpha hydrogen? I write carboxylic acid group like COOH. I attach one carbon and one alkyl to it. Now this adjacent carbon or second carbon after this carbon is called alpha carbon. And the hydrogen attached to it is called alpha hydrogen. Secondly, I write a red powder in chlorine water. This red and P of powder stands for red phosphorus. Cl stands for chlorine gas and water is H2O. These are the reactants of this reaction. We already know that alpha hydrogen is displaced. So this chlorine will displace one alpha hydrogen. I rewrite the compound. In case of one alpha hydrogen, I write chlorine to alpha carbon. Remember that this reaction is used for the halogenation of carboxylic acid. Now let me teach you two more reactions. Clemenson reduction reaction and wolf kishner reduction reaction. Now listen carefully. In the Clemenson, there is a word sun. We know that 
Every son needs a coach. Remember that I write here C O and I write there C H. Similarly, I write here C O and I write there C H. This C O is the reactant and this C H is the product. Also, this C O is the reactant and this C H is the product. Now, what about the other reactants of Clemenson reaction? Well, this C L reminds me H C L. So I write here H C L. Secondly, this M M reminds me a zigzag line. Here, this Z stands for zinc and G stands for H G. So I write here zinc and H G. This is the complete Clemenson reaction. Now, what about the other reactants of Wolff-Kirchner reduction reaction? Well, this K and Kirchner reminds me potassium hydroxide. I write here potassium hydroxide. Secondly, I select this N and H. It reminds me NH two NH two. So I write here NH two NH two. This is the complete Wolff-Kirchner reduction reaction. Remember that in these both reactions, we convert ketone to aldehyde. Let's note it down these two reactions. Lastly. Let me teach you Gutterman Koch reaction. Now this Gutterman reminds me guitar man. I always say guitar man brings alcohol. Let me repeat it. I always say guitar man brings alcohol. Now this B ring stands for benzene ring. This ALC stands for aluminium chloride. This CO stands for CO. And this H A L stands for H C L. So I write here benzene ring. I write here aluminium chloride, C O, and then H C L. These are the reactants of this reaction. Now I select C O and H, and I add it to the benzene ring. I write here benzene ring, and I attach C O H to it. I get benz aldehyde. So this is the complete Gutterman Koch reaction. Thus, note it down all these twenty reactions and try to practice them every day for a week. I hope that you will learn all these twenty reactions.